Welcome to my beautiful Halloween. We're in Wonderland and going mad as a hatter with this look. This is my rendition of the Mad Hatter from the Alice in Wonderland movie. Now, let's jump into the tutorial. Using a washable glue stick, I'm going to glue back my brows and set with a brightening translucent powder. With an orange cream paint, I'm going to color correct my brows, only applying where the hairs are dark. Now set that in place, let it bake for a few minutes, and then dust away. I'm using a hydrating primer to prime my face, and also my chest for this look. Here I'm airbrushing my foundation with a very light foundation shade so I can have pale white skin like the Mad Hatter. Using a translucent powder, I'm going to set my brows to lock them in. With a white concealer, I'm going to highlight under my eyes and then blend out using a damp beauty sponge. Now lock everything in with a brightening translucent powder. This base will give you the same pale skin as the Mad Hatter in the Alice in Wonderland movie. Using an orange body paint, I'm going to draw in a fun brow shape, very pointy and winging upwards. With a hot pink blush, I'm going to start contouring my face and I'm starting at my temples and then hollowing out my cheeks. Extend the contour straight to the mouth and don't forget the jawline. With a raspberry blush, I'm going to shade into the contour for some more definition. Dipping into a beautiful light blue eyeshadow, I'm going to blend onto my left lid and into the inner corners of the eye. I'm also going to blend the shadow upwards into a blown out wing shape. Using a foiled lime green shadow, I'm going to first wet my brush and then apply all over the lid. I'm now going to place a foiled gold shadow on the very center of my lid. Here I'm filling in my waterline with a turquoise blue eyeliner. Going into a deeper teal blue shadow, I'm going to deepen up the eye look on the inner and outer corners of the eye. Moving to our right eye, I'm going to blend a bright purple onto the lid and in the same manner I did with the blue, so very blown out. Then applying an orange eyeshadow on the lower lash line, I'm going to blend and exaggerate that down the nose. With the foiled purple eyeshadow, I'm going to place this color on the center of my lid. Here I'm just lining my eyes with a bright red lip liner that is safe to use on the eyes. Now for my favorite part, highlight. So I'm going to be highlighting my cheeks and also my eyes using a white sparkly loose powder highlight. I'm going to coat my lashes in black mascara. I made these orange feather lashes, but they didn't suit the look, so we're just going to skip right over the step because I end up changing them at the end of the tutorial. They were kind of cool though. Maybe I'll use them for another look. I'm going to add some green glittery false lashes to the lower lash line. Here I'm adding a few random dots around my eyes using the orange body paint we used for the brows. And now I'm going to add in a few rhinestones trickling down my left eye. Using a magical metallic purple lipstick, fill in your lips. And now I'm going in with a metallic pink lipstick and I'm only applying this on the center of my lips for an ombre pink and purple lip shade. Lock everything in with a long lasting setting spray. 
The Mad Hatter's hair is everything, so I'm just popping on an orange wig and I'm gonna tease it a little bit later. For lashes, I'm gonna pop on some green feather lashes that really open up my eyes. Here I'm spritzing my face with the dewy mist and I'm applying an iridescent glitter to my cheeks and also my nose. I'm gonna pale out my body with a white face powder which is much easier and more comfortable than using a paint. Using a sparkly loose powder highlight, I'm gonna highlight the center of my chest and also my collarbones. And lastly, I'm gonna add some dewy mist and iridescent glitter to go on top. Using an alcohol activated tooth palette, I'm gonna give myself a gap. Now pop on your Mad Hatter hat, and here I'm gonna tease my wig to make it really big and wild. And thanks for that extra help, Mom. This is the final Mad Hatter Halloween tutorial. I hope you love this look, and don't forget to like this video if you did, and subscribe for more videos. Thank you all for tuning in to my beautiful Halloween, and I'll see you next time.